Okay, so Adam, we'll just start off with the obvious question. Why do you want to be on Detroit City Council? Well, you know, I was born and raised in Detroit, and that's not as common as you think anymore. You know, there's a big discussion about the seniors who are aging in place and the young folks who have moved in. But what we don't talk enough about are the people who grew up here who are staying here. And I think that's because we haven't made Detroit the type of place that you want to raise a family anymore. I'm 29, my wife and I are getting to that point where it's time to raise kids, and there's some things that we need to do to make our neighborhood safe and livable. And I think city council can do that. You know, it starts dealing with regional transit, it starts dealing with education, and most importantly, dealing with making our neighborhood safe in the type of places that not only do we want to raise a family, but that we want to grow older in. You're the face of the new Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here 29 years, so, you know, I live three blocks from my parents, so it, it's what Detroit has got to be. So we'll kind of go into the second question. The city is coming out of bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. What skill set could you bring to the table that maybe another candidate wouldn't that could help lead the city on its new financial path? You know, it's funny that, that you mentioned the city coming out of bankruptcy. I think a lot has been made about our financial planning, but what we haven't talked about is actual planning. So I got my master's in urban planning at the University of Michigan, and the reason I say that is because the number one way that the city receives revenue is through taxes, and we receive those through property taxes, and that means that we have to have enough people living in homes and dealing with ownership to make it work. You know, every neighborhood and every block across the city used to make roughly the same amount of dollars. And so as we start talking about where this new city is going and what Detroit is going to be, it's got to be talking about planning out in a way that really we haven't done as a city. And then moving forward to implementing. As a city of Detroit, we've had some really cool plans. We've done a lot of really cool things from a conceptual basis, but we haven't really got into implementation. So for five years, I was the chief of staff for Senator Johnson and was able to work towards actually getting policies done. And then I spent some time at the uh, local level in the mayor's office really advancing policies and doing those types of work. So I think I have a unique skill set from an educational background, but also from real hard work. You're, <coughs> excuse me, you're still kind of new to the political game here because you're so young, but looking at some of the current city council members as well as some of the previous ones, mm -hmm. They've had personal issues that have come to light after being elected, whether it be dealing with DUIs or foreclosures, things of that nature. And when that comes to light, it overshadows the work of the city council. Is mm -hmm. there anything in your background that could, if it were to come out, would overshadow the work of city council? No, I, I think I'm an open book. You know, Though I haven't been in the political game very long, I was raised by uh, my parents, and they taught us to really make good, sound decisions. I'm the third of four children, and my father's a Detroit firefighter for 28 years. My older sister is a police officer, or was a police officer, is now a federal investigator. And uh, my brother's a firefighter, so I grew up in a family where you had to make the right decision all the time. And I continue to do those, not to say that, that in any way that I'm perfect, but I'm proud of the record I have and the things that I've been able to accomplish. Awesome. Those are my three questions. Is there anything you want to add? I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> When's your interview? Uh, this coming Wednesday. So I interview Wednesday, 1130. Okay. But uh, going forward, you know, I'm really excited about making Detroit the type of place that people want to be. And I think we've got all the potential in the world. What we've got to do a better job of is making it the place that people can really add more value to. You know, a lot of discussion has been about what people aren't doing. And what we should be spending our time doing is saying, how do we give people the tools that they need to fix problems? So right now, I'm the Vice President of Hansel Woodlands. That was a long-term city resident who decided to invest his own money to fix a problem. What we've got to do as a city is encourage more people to do the same thing and invest in property, whether it's one parcel, whether it's one lot, or 100. It's that new business. We've got to convince people to try things in Detroit.